Hello guys and welcome back. So now from this video onwards, we'll start working on our third person shooter controller. All right. For the shooter controller, first of all, we need the animations and the character. So for that, go ahead and open up the Miximo.com website and then log in into Miximo.com. After that, you can click on characters and right here you can search for Steve and you will find this Steve character, which is this one. Alright, you can use any other character according to your own liking, alright, but I'm gonna use this one. And for the animations, I have also used the animations from the Miximo.com website, alright. I will show you what animations I have used. So, if you need the animations and the character, I will provide you these zip files from which you will find all of the animations and characters so go ahead and download it so that we don't have to download it one by one from Miximo.com right all of the animations and character is already set up right here so you can just simply drag and drop this inside your unity project and make sure that you drag and drop it inside the game folder all right as you can see it is imported if we click on game now in here you will find these animations so what I'm gonna do now is create another folder and name it as animations and then in this animations I'm gonna drag and drop the crouch folder the dance then the locomotions then the reload and then the rifle alright and we can leave the character folder right here okay let's first of all show uh, let me show you that which animations i have used so we use the crouch animation as you can see this animation name is crouch idle if you see right here then we use the crouched run then reload and then walk crouching forward all right so if you want to use these animations then you can download it and if you want to use some other animations from Miximo.com then you can use that as well for example if you want the crouch idle animation but in but in some other style then you can just search for crouch idle right here and you can select any crouch idle animation from here all right and then just simply download it and the same for the dance animations, the locomotions, the reload, and the rifle. All right. Once you have the animations, then you can open up the character folder, which is right here. You can select on the character and then click on its rig. As you can see, this character rig is set to humanoid and then create from this model. So you can also go ahead and make sure that you make your character humanoid and then create from this model all right then click apply and you can also check the character as well if you click on the model here it is okay this is the character and this is the character textures all right and If I show you the rig of this character, if you open this character up, alright. Why is it showing that? Okay, I think it's because we locked it. Okay, let me unlock it. Then open up this character and this is the character avatar which is by the name of character avatar as well. Alright, once you make your character humanoid, the next step will be to make your animations humanoid as well for example if you select the crouch animation okay let's start from the first one as you can see on the first animation the rig is set to humanoid and then this is set to copy from other avatar and then in here i have selected the character avatar which is our character avatar all right then you can just simply click apply and the same for the other one just change the animation type to humanoid then avatar definition should be changed to copy from other avatar and then in here you can search for your character avatar for example my character avatar name is the same character avatar as you can see you can select it and then click apply so you can do this step for all of the animations all right for the crouch dance locomotion reload and rifle as you can see for all of them it is set to humanoid copy from other avatar and then I've selected the avatar of my character so now if I click on the animation as you can see our character is already set up right here and playing the animation perfectly fine as you can see 
all right and then the next step is if you select the crouch animation select the first animation as you can see right here it is set to loop time loop pose then this is set to bake into pose and original then for the position y it is also baked into pose original and for the x and z it is also baked into pose and original all right if you are uh, using the same animations which i have given you all right which you downloaded then all of these things will be set up already but if you are using some other animations then i am showing you that you need to set that animations are according to these settings all right so make sure that you do this the same for the next animation which is the crouch run then the same for the reload all right and the same for the walking crouch forward as well all right make sure that you do all of these settings then for the dance you need to add these settings on your right you don't have to make it loop time and loop pose because this dance animation will be played just once so it should not be loop time and for the locomotion it is the same setting just tick all of these boxes and set the rotation position to original the same for the other one instead of this jumping animation all right which is this jumping you just don't need to set this to loop time right and for the reload you also don't need to set it to loop time because reloading animation will be played just once and for the rifle it should be the same as the other one right tick all the boxes and set it to original its rotation and position so in this way you can set up your character and add animations for your own character right i hope you understand what we did and if you have any question then do let me know right now with this done let's end this video right here